Good morning. Welcome back to JPCE Spiritual Talk. So good morning, everyone. Welcome back. This morning's devotional, we're going to talk about confident hope. And a small reading from Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23. Before we get into our devotional, we're going to ask the Lord in a prayer. In the, name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We're going to ask the Lord to shine to our hearts, O loving Master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of your mind. That we may understand your teachings in Scripture. Help us to apply what we learn, such as having conquered civil desires. We may pursue a spiritual way of life. Thank you for doing all things that are pleasing to you. For your Christ, your God, you are light. And to you we give glory to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The sages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. So forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the glory, the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit, both now and forever. Sages. Amen. Lord is our shepherd. All right, good morning. Welcome back. So great, so great is his faithfulness. Indeed, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So confident in hope. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us hold on the confession of our hope without wavering. For he, for he who promised is faithful. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So hope in the Christian's life is not wishful thinking. It is confident expectation. Those without Christ may wish things were different and wish they knew someone who could change their situations. The Christian is personally related to the Lord of the universe, who is sovereign not only over all creation, but also over every circumstance we experience. We can live with confidence because our hope is in the one who is faithful. When God speaks, he stands by his word to see that it comes to pass. Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11. When God speaks a word to you, trust him completely. For God never deceives his children. If God has indicated to you that he's going to do something, he can be, you can be absolutely confident that he will do it. Do you wonder why unrighteous people seem to prosper while righteous people suffer? If Jesus promised that each would eventually receive a just reward. Luke chapter 16, verse 19 through 31. Do you wonder if all the effort you have put into training your children in God's ways will bear fruit when they become adults? God promised it would. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Do you wonder if the things you renounced when you became a Christian will be replaced by God's blessing? Jesus assured us we would receive a hundred times as much. Mark chapter 10, verses 29 through 30. Do you doubt, do you doubt that Jesus will return and join us with those who, who, who have already died? Scripture indicates th this certainty. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 through 18. Our hope is not mere speculation of what God might do. God has given his word on many areas of life regarding things he will do. We can have confident hope in everything that he will has promised the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Another beautiful reflection, another beautiful read. Another meaning to hope, right, in this passage also means to be joyful. Right? So be joyful. Right? Be joyful. Be confident and be joyful. Right? That will give you your hope. To stay confident and stay joyful. Never give up on your faith. Right? Because what will give you confidence in these words is that knowing that our faith, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. It's all about endurance. Right? Bad things will continue in this world. Right? Hearts will still break. Even bodies and bones will still break, right? Because the world that we live in is a physical world, which is temporary. Right? What, we, what we seek is internal. So have confidence and joy. Stay in your faith. Stay confident. That's all I have this morning. I love you all so much.
Thank you for following in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. O oh Lord God, you've spoken to us through divine saving words. You illuminate the souls of sinners that comprehend what we just read. That we don't appear simply as hear spiritual words, but doers of good deeds, true pursuers of faith, having to blame his life and conduct without reproach in Christ our Lord. You are light, and to you we give glory. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever. Let's say just, Amen. Our Father, who art in heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. Forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the glory of the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The sages. Amen. The Lord is our shepherd. We depart peace in the name of the Lord, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Peace be with you all, going peace. Shalom, shalom. May the Lord forgive those who love us and those who hate us. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be merciful to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace in the, name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit both now and forever, the sages. Amen. Jerry Wesley Campbell, good morning, good day, good evening, good night, good afternoon, whenever and however. These messages, reflections, all these readings find you. I love you all so much. JPCE, special talk, never hold back, no excuses. Right? You seek him. Right? Build that relation with your creator. It's about a relationship. It's not about religion. Have confidence. Have hope. Be joyful. Be joyful. And that new hope that you have confidence. Be joyful. Be confident. I love you all so much. I'm out.